Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we will be creating this kind of amazing 3D text design without using Photoshop 3D. This design is fully customizable and you can edit the text. So if you want to download this project file, click on the link in the video's description. It is absolutely for free. Now hit the like button and let's jump to the Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create a new document. As always, I'm going with the size of 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. Click on create. For the background, let's create a gradient adjustment layer. Click on this drop down menu and select this black and white gradient. Click here to edit it. Select this black point and change its color to a dark bluish color. Hit OK. Same thing with this one. Select it and change its color to a dark bluish color. But make sure it is a little bit brighter than the previous one. Hit OK. Change its style to radial. Increase its scale to about 250. Check the reverse option. And then move it a little bit to the top. Hit OK. Now delete this background layer because we do need it. Let's rename it background. Next. Pick your type tool, click inside the canvas and type your text. Confirm it, pick the move tool, click on these three dots and change this option to canvas. Now click on align horizontal center and align vertical center. It will align the text perfectly into the center. Now let's put this layer in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Rename it text. Right click on this group and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on stroke. Size is 5 pixels. Position is outside. Opacity is 100%. Fill type is gradient. Click on the gradient editor. And select this gradient. By the way, you can download this gradient from the link in the video's description. But if you want to create your own gradient, select this black and white gradient. Select this point and change its color to a dark brown color. Hit OK. Now make copies of this point by clicking here. Now click between these two points and change its color to yellow. Repeat the process again by making its copies. You can also customize it by changing their location. Hit OK. Now click on bevel and emboss. Style is stroke emboss. Technique is smooth. Depth is 100%. Size is 5 pixel, angle is 90 degree, altitude is 30. Click on this drop down menu and select this preset. Check this anti alias option. Highlight opacity is 70% and shadow opacity is also 70%. Click on contour. Check this option and the range is 60%. Hit OK. Now drag and drop this image into the Photoshop. By the way, you can download these kind of images from Envato Elements. They have 7 day free trial, so if you want to check them out, click on the link in the video's description. Anyways, right click on this layer and choose create clipping mask, so that it will only limit the layer beneath it, which is the text layer. By the way, hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel yet. Anyways, select both layer and convert them into a smart object. Photoshop will merge these two layers into one layer and it is fully editable. Let's rename it text. Move it a little bit to the top. Now in order to extrude this text and make it 3D, we will be using a free Photoshop action which you can download from the link in the video's description. With the help of this action, we can easily and quickly extrude our subject and make it 3D. Once you download this action, open the folder and double click on the action. Photoshop will automatically install it. Now all you need to do is to go to Windows and choose Action. And there we have. Make sure this layer is active. Open this group. Select this action that says Play Me First and play it. It will do few things. And now you need to choose an angle in which you want to extrude your subject. I want to extrude my subject in this direction. So I need to choose this action. Just play it few times. It will make few copies, which is fine. Stop it when you are happy with the extrusion size. Now scroll back to the top and close the group. Now to create the shadow, open this group once again. Scroll down. Select this layer. Hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag it down to duplicate it. Let's rename it Shadow. Press Ctrl T to open Transform tool. Squash it just like this. And move it beneath the text layer. 
Right click on this layer and choose blending option. Click on color overlay. Add black color to it. Make sure the opacity is 100%. Hit OK. Now go to filter, blur and choose motion blur. Angle is 0 and the distance is 200 pixel. Hit OK. Again go to filter, blur. This time choose Gaussian blur. Blur it about 5 pixel. Hit OK. Now the shadow is too intense as you can see. So just drop down its opacity to 70%. Now to create the reflection, select this layer, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J, rename it Reflection. Drag and drop it beneath the shadow layer. Press Ctrl T to open Transform tool, right click on it and choose Flip Vertical and then move it down just like this. Also right click on it and choose Distort and then distort the reflection by moving these corner boxes. Hit Enter to confirm it. Now go to filter, blur and choose motion blur once again. This time the angle is 90 and the distance is 150 pixel. Hit OK. Also drop down its opacity to 30%. And now it is done. If you want to change the text, just double click on this layer. It will open another document. Open this group and here you can edit your text. When you are done with the editing, Close the document and save it. And Photoshop will update everything in the main document. So that's it for today guys. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this design, you can watch this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. I'll be catch you in my next video. Till then, peace.